Hello friends, I have a fun video for you. We're gonna jump right into Christmas. And yes, we haven't done Halloween yet. We went to Michael's and Hobby Lobby the other day, my daughter and I, and we checked out all the Christmas stuff. Part of the reason why I wanted to do that was so that you guys didn't have to go to stores unless you absolutely had to. With this whole pandemic thing, it's hard to like decide to wander through stores anymore. You have your mask on, you, ha you don't want to be in stores around people very often. So I've done that for you and put it into a video kind of taking you through the stores and all the Christmas stuff so that you can look at everything before you decide to go to the store. And then if you want one or two of the things that you saw, then you'll know exactly what to go in for. Go in, get out, be done, move on. I have gone to Michael's and to Hobby Lobby. Come along and shop with me <laughs> as we go through these two stores and then come back and I'll show you all the things that I picked up, whether it's from Michael's or from Hobby Lobby. We'll just have to wait and find out. So come along and make sure you subscribe and click on the bell so you can get notified of videos. We do vlogging, but you know, from here till Christmas, I love to do crafting and decorating and all that kind of stuff. We'll have more videos like that as well so you won't want to miss out let's go ahead and go shopping for christmas in october <laughs>
home, I'm gonna show you the things that I got and can I tell you my thoughts on Michaels versus Hobby Lobby. And I think part of my opinion is because it's early in the game. Michaels does not have all their stuff out. I was actually kind of disappointed in Michaels. I don't know if that's really fair to say because it's not even Halloween yet. They did not have 50% off like Hobby Lobby did, which was kind of disappointing. But also the sprigs that I wanted to get at Michael's that I got last year for our tree were not, I didn't really find the exact same ones that I found last year and they were not on 50% off. So I'm gonna hold off on getting those. I am gonna get more to kind of build up my tree. If you are new to what I did to my Christmas tree last year, I'll put a link to all my Christmas playlists from last year so you can kind of check those out kind of see what I'm talking about, but then you can look forward to another video in the next month or so, and you'll be able to see what I'm gonna do with my tree. So that was kind of the main difference. Michaels did not have their stuff all put out, and Hobby Lobby had more put out, but not all of it. There was still some empty rows. They're kind of transitioning, like the fall stuff is all on 50% off right now, and they're still taking up a bulk of the aisles. As soon as that kind of fades out, they'll bring more Christmas stuff in. I will probably go back to each store as the weeks go on and kind of see if there's more stuff. And I'll maybe add that to a haul in another video. I probably won't show you what else they have in store. I'll probably just show if I happen to buy something from either one of those stores. I wanted to show you what I got from Hobby Lobby because like I said, I didn't find anything at Michael's. But I did get some cute things from Hobby Lobby including a new idea theme for my kids' Christmas tree. They were able to put a mini Christmas tree in their bedroom last year, but now with all their desks and workspaces for homeschool, they don't have room for that Christmas tree in a bedroom. So we're gonna do a Christmas tree scene place to kind of lay and hang out in our playroom upstairs because they do spend so much time at a desk. I wanted them to have another spot to enjoy Christmas while they're at school because they tend to spend a majority of their time upstairs where they're not going to see the Christmas tree. So <laughs> I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a, a new area of Christmas upstairs. And the first thing that I got as kind of a hint to what that theme is going to be is gingerbread. I got two of these guys. Isn't that so cute, you guys? I am so excited. I really have never done a theme to a Christmas tree before. These are little ornaments. So we have ideas of marshmallow garlands and making actual gingerbread men and making ornaments out of them, candy canes and that kind of thing. So stay tuned because that will be a whole thing that we'll do a whole separate video for. Maybe all the shopping or the making of the crafts or building the tree, that kind of a thing. I want to get my kids involved because it will be their tree to decorate how they would like and I'll kind of help them along the way and try and figure out how to do it. So that will be a really fun one to do, so stay tuned for that guy. One thing I will remind you is that everything at Hobby Lobby was 50% off for Christmas stuff. So I, I got more than I intended to get because it was 50% off and I actually might go get some more. <laughs> it's so cheap when it's 50% off that I kind of have to take advantage of it. So the next thing I got was this little wood ball. I don't know what you call this but it has a little tag on the end of it that's wood. It says Merry Christmas. I, You know how I like to put these little ball garlands in my trays? I thought this is a good one to do for the holidays, but guess what, the back is blank. So what I might do for, you know, to be able to multi-purpose, because it's so generic and neutral, that I might paint this white or even black, like chalkboard, and then kind of distress the edges and have that little wood look underneath it so that I can use this facing this direction all year round. And for only $3, that's what I'm saying, like I kind of tend to want to go back because I like to find things like this that are multi-purpose beyond Christmas. And some of that kind of, some of this farmhousey kind of stuff is totally multi-purpose. The next thing I got are these two garlands they're both the same. I think they were both $7.99, so I paid $7.99 for both of them because they were 50% off. Now I bought two packages of these from Michaels last year, so I actually am hoping that they're the same color of red. I am a true red for Christmas. Like I don't like a maroon color and I don't like the bright, bright red. So I bought two of these in a packet last year to wrap around my Christmas tree and I didn't have enough. And within a week of me buying it, and going back to the store, 
they didn't have any left. <laughs> So I kind of had to change how I put the garland on the tree and I only wrapped it on the front of the tree and kind of swagged down. And then it was just still kind of bare. So I wanted to make sure I got these kind of ahead of the game to make sure I got them. So I might have to back up here for the last thing. I'm so excited about this one. The whole gingerbread theme for the upstairs Christmas area for my kids became a thing when I saw the ornament section for their mini tree. But then as I have kind of thought about it and realized I'm realizing I want them to have a Christmas space near where they're working on their school stuff this holiday season, it's pandemic time if you're watching this in the future. I wanted to create a theme. Normally I don't do a theme downstairs because I try and keep it Christ Christmas oriented. So that's why I don't tend to do it downstairs. But upstairs, I think we might have to go to Gingerbread Street. I have seen this on someone else's YouTube video for Hobby Lobby and I knew I wanted this. So these videos work you guys. I was a hook, line, and sinker on this guy. I think I might either put it on the stairway leading up to the upstairs playroom or on the wall up there or some kind of location for it. But it's kind of got that distressed look to it and it's you know got a 3D tin look to it. I'm, I'm in love with this thing, you guys. I'm so excited for this. Like I said, I don't do a theme very often, but this one is right up my alley. So I hope you guys like this video. Come back for more holiday DIYs and decorating and all that kind of stuff. We are gonna have to make stuff for that mini Christmas tree in the gingerbread theme. So there'll be videos for that as well as decorating with us. I'm probably going to decorate the house the day after Thanksgiving. It's just a thing. Now that I have a fake tree, I can put up the Christmas tree all by myself, get it all fluffed and ready to go myself, and then the kids can come in later and decorate it. Stick around, come back for more, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care.